Hey everyone, this is Jugal Tuba. I'm back with another video. Welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. Um, this is for singles, a collective singles reading, what and who is coming your way. So if you're watching this video, this is for you. This message is for you. So general reading, take what resonates and leave the rest and then claim it and affirm it in the comment box if you're really manifesting and going through this all situation. Because it's a general reading, so take what resonates. It's a collective for whoever needs it, for single. What and who is coming your way? You can also book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. So let's see. Singles. What's happening and who is coming your way? What and who is coming your way? We have a seven of swords energy. We have the fool. Let's see what's happening. Singles. We have a strength. Interesting. Aries, Leo, this could be your signs or they're coming towards you. We also have Aquarius, interesting. Um, we also have the Three of Swords energy. We have a Page of Pentacles. We have the World and we have the Hermit, interesting. Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Scorpio. We have a Four of Cups, interesting. Wow. If this is you, like, what the hell? Uh, we have a Ten of Swords. Oh, my God. What is reading? And we have a Knight of Cups. Interesting. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Wands. Okay, so a lot of you, you're struggling right now with the King of Wands. Could be some type of financial difficulties here right now you're facing. Or the person that you're dealing with right now is, is, is definitely creating a lot of drama. They're focused on their money. They want something else. You want something else. It's like you're not on the same page. So um, let me see. So a lot of you, you could be dealing with definitely um, Aries, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn, uh, Cancer. I'm also picking up Gemini or could be Libra. Um, any earth sign, any water sign. Um, but strong. Uh, indication here that you're currently dealing with someone that you're having with the king of pentacles is a wheel of five of wands you're having a fight and conflict with this person about financial matters or it could be talking about this person is financially struggling like this is someone that who choose something else over you so they are financially struggling there could be involvement of other people people interference here so this could be their friends or their colleague or people like there's definitely a lot of drama here uh, for some, I'm seeing that you could be dealing with someone that you already in a relationship. So that's why they're struggling. They're fighting. It's like they're fighting internally or externally, but there's definitely continuous fight happening in this person's life. But if we talk about you here with this King of Pentacles and Five of Wands, some of you, you're financially struggling or you're struggling to find someone that you can be. You want commitment. You want something serious. And you keep attracting the wrong people in your life. And you, and you could be attracting people who are just looking for pleasure gossiping talking having fun with the five of wands they're fighting there, there could be some people who are fighting for your attention you're like no please so some of you with the strength and the hermit it's you you are in a reclusive energy right now you're taking a break from romantic relationships or dating you're like please i need a break from this drama some of you you're also healing right now and recovering from the past here because i'm seeing with the three of swords ten of swords there's a lot of headache here like whenever you think about love you get headache or you think about this current person it's giving you headache anxiety depression you're going through a lot of stress right now some of you you're, you're burned out i'm hearing you just burned out you definitely need to cleanse your energy here because you need to let this something go from your past there's definitely a lot of disappointments here in the matter of love right now if you're single watching this obviously but you could have dealing with someone like struggle here this person with the seven of wands look at this hiding from you like find me find me with the seven of swords deception uh, it's also like um, betrayal, betrayed, yeah, you know, this person betrayed you for something or someone. And now, with the Page of Pentacles here, you can expect an apology from this person or message, some type of a message or some type of an offer. Now, yeah, this is also someone that you, with this Page and King of Pentacles, you, you are expecting from someone who is Page, right? You're expecting them to be King of Pentacles, to give you commitment. They're not ready. They're just Page right now. They just want to have fun. They just want to play. You, you know, hide and seek game. Yeah, this is someone who played games with you and playing games maybe currently too. Yeah, this is someone who's definitely betrayed you and hurt you. But this is also someone 
whose whose games backfired on them. If they played any games, it's backfired on them. Because with a strength card, you stop talking to them. It's like you tame the beast, but it's a bear here. So this person could be bigger than you or older than you or they are just a big person. And only you can control this person. Like there's something with the strength energy is like, you're like, I'm on peace. I want peace. You maybe ghosted this person. You're giving them also the same treatment. This is that person I'm talking about. Yeah, this is someone that who give you this, this, this betrayal energy, give you headache. Uh, you maybe gone through a lot of drama with this person, interference of other people, or our work situation, you know. You, keep, you were sending this person, you were talking to this person, but this person was keep ignoring you. This is also someone who maybe uh, ghosted you, and now you're like, okay, let me give you the same treatment with the strength card. You hold back from this person. You, you stop talking to them. Because this, whenever you think about this person, it's a disappointment. Like, you know that this person will only disappoint you. And they are. With the hermit here, this person definitely have, have been thinking for you for a long time, or this situation for a long time. <clears throat> but I'm also seeing there's someone else coming. This is not that, that person, same person. Yeah, my throat chakra is definitely something happening with the throat. So this person is having a difficult time to say sorry or to apologize to you for what they did. This is also someone who's having a difficult time fighting with himself to admit their mistake because this person has a big ego and pride also for some of you. It's like, yeah, they're hurt and they're not going to show you they're hurt. They're not going to show you. They're not going to admit that they're sorry or they're, they're going through a lot. This is also someone who's playing the games. They're, they're, they're being deceptive. Like they're showing you everything is fine in their life, but no. They're exhausted. They're drained. You are also the same, I feel like, with these three of swords and four of cups. A lot of you, you're heartbroken right now, disappointed in love. You may be thinking about to give up on love. No, don't do that for this person only because you maybe were dealing with the wrong person. This is not the right person. Don't give up on love. Because I'm seeing with the Fool card and the World card, some of you, you're closing the chapter with this person and you're freeing yourself from this person and you're choosing this new person, upcoming person entering in your life. So you have a choice between two lovers. There's someone else coming into your life with the Knight of Cups. I, I think they will enter in your life when you're going through this all. The moment this person will enter, you will free yourself from this past person that you're holding on for a long time. This could be also someone that you will meet online. Because I'm seeing the fool and world. So world could be internet, social media, dating apps. Or when you were traveling somewhere with the fool card and the world, you're traveling somewhere. This is also something when you're taking risk in your life. Getting out of your comfort zone. But this person, maybe this person need to get out of their comfort zone. They need to stop, you know, being uh, escapism. Like they're escaping from themselves. They're, de they're in a denial in their own feelings. They're controlling their feelings. Their lust and desire for you. Why? Because maybe they have, they're afraid that what their people, family, society will think. With the five of wands. Or this could be involvement of other people. Yeah. But I feel with the world card, you have a choice. Look at this. This man is holding the two women's heart here. Two women's hands. So you maybe have a choice or this person has a choice. And they're going to take a risk on you with the full card. Yeah, this, this is something like you tame the beast. There's also someone else coming with the knight of cups, bringing this love offer to you. That, that they want to admit, they want to date you. So you maybe have options. Um, or this is someone that they have options and they need to make a decision here. But whatever the case is, you are definitely going, don't, don't give up on love. Because you are definitely attracting, you should be releasing the past energy so love can enter in your life. Because you're dealing with the wrong people. You're dealing with the drama. You need to avoid this drama into your life. Now let's see more. Yeah, so we have a high honor and wealthy man. Oh, Either this person is already you're dealing with this type of a man and that's why there's a lot of struggle here, competition here, like pick me energy. So this person has a lot of options or this is someone that entering in your life. They could be worldwide famous or internet famous with a world card also. Like this is someone who's famous, popular. Um, they could be entrepreneur. Like this is someone who's very like on a high rank. They have, they're well respected in their community and... Yeah, this is someone who's a wealthy man coming into your life. This person could have a facial fair, hair or a clean shave for some. Some of you, this person could be a milit in a military, army, police, um, some type of a government official, yeah, expectations. So a lot of you, st you stop giving up on love. Don't give up on love. 
because this is someone who is just going to complete all the expectations that you're expecting from love. They're like, with the Knight of Cups, they're going to be very romantic. They're going to wine and dine you. This person is going to enter in your life once. The moment, the moment you will release this past person or current person that you're dealing with. This is giving you nothing but headache, to be honest. This is toxic. You need to release someone who is toxic. So I'm talking about that. If you don't have anyone, then there could be, you have a choice between two people. Someone is coming from the past or you're about to meet someone. Yeah, if you have no one and you don't know this type of a person, this person could have on a high rank, so there's a competition here. So this person, when you will meet them, you're not dating anyone and they're also not dating anyone, but there's something that they want to date about you, date you, because they see something in you. They, want, they feel like you, you, you deserve, you're worth the weight, you're worth the effort. So they're going to make an effort here. But they could be coming out of some type of a situation here, a difficult time. Yeah, we have a pathway. I feel like a lot of you, you already crossed the path with this person. You know who this person is. You may be just casually talk to this person maybe in the past or currently casually talking. But this person is bringing change into your life. Once this person will enter in your life, you will get out of this prison that you're still holding on to someone from your past. It's over, it's finished. Yeah. Some of you, this could be someone that who is in a mental prison right now, that they're mentally in a prison. Like, they're overthinking a lot of the situation. They need to take a risk and jump into it and choose the love, but they're not because they're worried about other people's judgment or this person could be worried about the change. They're, they're staying in their comfort zone. Fuck up. Like, oh my God, frustration. Yeah, this is someone who's giving you headache. I'm strongly feeling endings are new beginnings. The moment this new person will enter in your life, you will kick this person ass. Or you are already done. You need to let the past go. You need to close the chapter when dead is dead. Dead is dead. Dead will never alive, right? So it's over. It's finished. This person is definitely in a mental prison. They're overthinking a lot. I'm talking about the current person or the someone from your past. You know, they can definitely... Don't expect too much from this person. Just allow yourself to move and keep go with, going with the flow. Close the chapter so a new person can enter in your life. You maybe have a choice. Yeah, journey. There's a definitely travel involved here. Either you're going to travel or they're going to travel or you will meet this person if you are traveling somewhere. Vacation. Yes. Yeah, we have a courthouse. This person could be coming out of some sort of a divorce or separation. Or this is also like some type of a legal matters involved here. Maybe that's why this person is not ready. You will be the main female of this person, by the way, or main male. I'm strongly feeling travel here. You will travel, definitely. To see this person or they will travel to see you. Now, let's see any advice for you, my singles, for you. Yeah, we have a let go. Please let go of the past. You're holding on to the wrong person or something that is not serving you. It's time to move. It's time to change. We have a within the next few months, you will meet this person. Meditations will bring answer. I feel like you need to do meditation and healing. That's how you get clarity and you will heal from this. This is a toxic person. Trust the journey. Trust the process. No. Yeah. There is someone that you're holding on. Universe is saying no because there is someone else coming into your life who will bring happiness into your life. That is yes. A year from now, you will be in a relationship. Yeah, in a happily relationship with someone or in a commitment with someone. In the near future, yes. But you need to recover from the past. You need to recover from this trauma that you're holding on. Some of you, you're having a difficult time. You're comparing every person from your ex from your past because you need to heal. Please recover. You could be also going through some type of mental illness or sickness or trust issues, abandonment issues. And I understand because you always, you know, have this type of a relationship that you never experienced through love. Or someone that who can understand you. But there is someone is coming who's going to love you the way you deserve. But you may be going to compare this person too. You can, you're can you going to miss the opportunity if you're not going to recover and heal from the past. And let the past go. Because you should be ready when this person enters in your life. Because you're manifesting this person. Yeah, they're saying choose a new direction. Stop wasting your time on the past people or the past person or the wrong people. And stop attracting wrong people because there's something that you need to heal in yourself, in your heart. And you need to open yourself for risking and things and experience new things. Take a chance. Take a deep breath. Because you're going to manifest your true soulmate that is entering in your life. You did not met this person yet. No, this is not a reconciliation, okay? This is not a reconciliation reading. This is someone who's, who you will end up with someone 
who is toxic, who is unhealthy, unrequited love, your pattern, you need to see it. It's very difficult to be self-aware. You're not self-aware right now. You don't know why you are dealing with this type of people. Are you still stuck on this person or holding on to it? This person is still present in your energy and giving you headache. You need to completely let him go, her go, whoever this is. It's narcissistic, it's toxic, it's not good for you. If they're not ready, they're not ready. Simple, period. You need to move on so you can attract and manifest the person who is meant for you and choose a new direction for love and recover from the past. This is not your duty to heal people and to, to wait for them when they're ready. No, you are ready. You should be ready for your happiness, for your own success and make your own important life decisions, right? Understand the difference between yes and no, who to say yes and who to say no. So maybe this is a test that universe will take you. There's someone coming back from the past and there's also someone new. So who, who are you going to pick? Are you going to say attract the same partner? So this is a test from the universe. Who, you are learning who to say yes and who to say no. So you, you can definitely just trust your intuition, okay? This is your reading. Gonna see you later. Bye. God bless you all.